welcome. It's a big week in construction. The house is really coming together, which is crazy and exciting and totally weird. Um, but I actually have hope that this house is actually going to get done. So that's exciting. Um, there's lots of art making. I'm getting ready for my classes at the ink pad. So I'm making lots of extra samples. Those classes are in June. Um, but I'm glad that you're here. So enjoy the week. for the class that I'm teaching in New York. That's about mark making. And so these are actually, as you can see here, these are stencils that I made. Um, and so one of the things we're doing in class is learning how to make custom stencils and how to basically take very simple shapes. So everything here is either a V or a dash and create tons of different designs and tools just using simple shapes. paint dried in here and it is a rock. I also um, have a, let's see if I can even get it out of here. I have a brayer, which basically is so caked in paint it doesn't really roll anymore. So you can see I've just put them both into a plastic container and I've got some Murphy's Oil Soap. Uh, I don't think I can do this one handed, so I'm just gonna tell you, I'm gonna fill this with Murphy's Oil Soap and then come back and like, couple hours and uh, it's going to just make this into a nice soft brush and take all the paint off of that. So you can see I've filled it. You just need to get it so that it's on top of the whole brayer and on top of the bristles and I'll be back in a couple hours to check on it. lines from the top of a Torah arc. And recently, over maybe the last five years, we've been collecting for more uh, Judaica objects. This one actually... Um, and so welcome to um, what was a gallery space, and which in the not too distant future we hope will once again be a gallery space, uh, which has been transformed into the fishbowl of conservation connection. You probably have seen this gallery from the other side of the glass. So now you get to the so The windows uh, that we have all face east, and what we really want is north light, which is that direction. So these sawtooths will, will point north, uh, they'll have a, a, a glass face to north, and they'll bring the north light in. And uh, north light, it's, it's the most constant, it's the most diffuse, and it's the most constant. So it doesn't change at all through the course of the day, it doesn't change color or intensity. And so when uh, the conservators are trying to uh, in-paint, color match, um, the north light is really critical. So plus it will make the building beautiful from the outside. But that's just happening with the Okay, so it has been about 24 hours. And can you see how this brush is already pliable? So I'm going to take off as much of the soap as I can. And then I'm going to rinse it. Okay, so there were some hard bits of paint down at the bottom, but what happened is the Murphy's oil soap just loosened them and I was able to basically pull them off the bristles. And can you see how nice 
and soft, this brush is back to being a brush. As soon as it dries, it'll be a fantastic new brush. Now, if you still found that there was hard stuff in it or it hadn't softened up, you can put it back into the soap and just wait another, you know, 24 hours or something. So now with the brayer, again, I wanna shake off the excess. And the other thing I wanna do, you can probably see, by the way, there's some paint that has settled into the bottom of this container. Um, the other thing I wanna do is I wanna get some tissue, paper towel, toilet paper, whatever it is that you want. And I want to actually wipe off. Can you see how, oops, I didn't even hold it in the camera. Can you see how like we're basically uncovering layers of paint here? So we're down to rubber brayer on the sides, but not on the roller. So I'm gonna put it back in here for a couple more hours and then I should be able to slough off the rest of that so paint. I started putting in the floor today. You can see the new wood and like a patch that they've done here where they're used to a heating vent. And they put in some wood around the corners and so soon there'll be a floor. It's a lot of lights. Original hardwood floor new hardwood floor and notice how they're putting in so that it matches the originals like the apron around it and then it's in the middle it's going to be beautiful uh, i don't know why i've talked to my therapist about it i've talked to my children about it i've talked to my dog about it uh, and i don't know why it is but I, I i i'm always uncomfortable in a situation like this where i'm sort of singled out this has been a super social super social few days um let's see starting on tuesday we had our so we got back you know on sunday um but anyway on tuesday we had our friends the masons over for a game night we had dinner and games and um recorded a new curd cast and then um we probably played until like I think it was after midnight when they left. Then Wednesday night, there was an event at the museum, which involved a seated dinner and these curatorial tours. So that was lots of fun. Saw the Masons again, and ironically also sat with our other friends, Joe and Laksha, at who we had dinner with on Thursday night. So we didn't know that we were all gonna cross paths. It was kind of hilarious. Um, but had a very nice dinner. Last night was Thursday with them at a little French bistro in Boston. That was great. Um, and then fr to Friday, that's today, mom and I went to an opening at the Romer Gallery to hear Barry Moser speak. He was great, and then we had dinner afterwards. Um, so I have to confess to you that I am so excited for this weekend because I think I'm gonna stay in my house and potentially in my pajamas tomorrow. We'll see if I get that lucky, but uh, fingers crossed. Look, you can see that some of the windows are in. It's pretty exciting. So this has been boarded up for months and now we finally have windows. Oh, not all, but pretty exciting to be able to see out here. So I just heard Steve making a noise. Uh, Yay! Oh, 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 oh. I believe there are windows behind there when that plastic comes down. Not sure why the plastic's up. Look at this floor. Great. So I let this sit longer than I should have, like a couple days, and you can see how gloopy the Murphy's oil soap gets from being exposed. Um, it's like more like jello-y now. So I'm gonna do my best to clean this off, but you can see we get right down. Look at that. Right down through the layers. 
there's the rubber. How cool is that? And here is all the paint that was just sitting on top of it. Okay, so this sprayer is ready to get a whole bunch more paint on it. And I want to point out, before I discovered the Murphy's Oil Technique, um, I used to pull the paint off and you can see how it totally wrecked the brayer here. It's just like all torn up and stuff as opposed to where I've sloughed it off and you can see the surface of the brayer remains the same. So Murphy's Oil Soap for the win! Thanks so much for watching. Before I go, uh, this is going to be my last vlog for a little while. I have some stuff going on in my personal life that I need to take care of. Um, I am going to update about the house, so I will pop in every now and then with a um, purely house-related vlog. I'll keep posting art videos and scanning cut videos. I will absolutely keep having the uh, member live stream videos, and hopefully I'll be back vlogging in just a couple of months. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. So thanks so much, and I'll see you in a little while. Let it shine, let it shine.